Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. For those new here, I am a professional guitarist with an ongoing career that's already spanned over 30 years. If you Google the term Filipino guitarists, I am a top result. And from there, you can learn all about me from my website, my Wikipedia page, and all my social media. And in this video, I'm going to play the cheapest Les Paul available on Amazon. This is the DLP-124S from Donner. And what I'm gonna do is I will play this guitar in a track, then afterwards I'm going to talk about the instrument and share my thoughts on it. And to get this out of the way, yes, Donner is sponsoring this video. However, they are primarily paying for the video production and not for my opinion on this instrument. And at some random point in this video, I'll be giving away a Practice Makes Perfecto t-shirt. So make sure to watch all the way through. Here we go. The Donner DLP-124S has that distinct single cut Les Paul style body shape. Though I would say that this is closer to a Les Paul Junior than a Les Paul Standard. And the main thing that makes it different from your typical Les Paul style guitar is the bolt on neck. Now at the time of this video, the Donner DLP-124S has an Amazon price of $169. <laughs> Which reminds me, any guitar demo video of mine is simply not complete without a sexy guitar strip clip. Roll tape. <laughs> Thank you.
Out of the box, Donner steps up the included accessories game. The included gig bag is actually padded, so it offers way more protection for your instrument than the unpadded gig bags that typical cheap guitars come with. The guitar comes with a truss rod wrench, which is standard fare, as well as a cloth guitar strap. Aside from the padded gig bag, I am also impressed with the included instrument cable, which is actually a, <laughs> I would argue, a real guitar cable, as opposed to the molded plastic uh, wires that come with cheap guitar kits. Now check this out. This is an actual soldered cable, and the solder joints inside are protected with heat shrink tubing. And the final thing that impressed me is actually the hang tags that came with the guitar. As you can see on one side, you got your basic chord shapes, which is great for beginners. On the other side, you have a fairly accurate string action ruler, which I actually used while I was preparing this guitar for this video. Now here's a quick rundown of the specs. The body wood is basswood and it has binding outlining the Les Paul type shape. As for electronics, we have two humbuckers controlled by a master volume and a master tone and a three-way toggle switch, which is not in the typical <laughs> Les Paul location. Moving on to the neck, we have 22 frets on a laurel fretboard on top of an Okume neck. The fretboard has binding and the frets feel like mediums. Now I know a lot of people are sensitive about headstock shapes, particularly on Les Paul style guitars. So the Donner headstock shape is not exactly the same as the guitar it's inspired by, but it is not too offensively different either. Rounding out the specs is a stop tailpiece, two nomadic bridge, Donner branded tuners, and the Donner branding is also engraved on the neck plate. I don't know if you can see it, there it is. Now straight out of the box, this guitar came with a very dry fretboard. So dry that it was actually fairly gritty to play on. So I loosened the strings and applied a little bit of the F1 fretboard oil from Music Nomad. While the oil was soaking in, I checked the fret ends and found a bunch of fret sprout, which I took care of with my fret end file. After taking care of the sharp fret ends, I used Music Nomad's simple setup kit to check the truss rod relief as well as measure the string action. And surprisingly fresh out of the box and tuned up to standard, the truss rod relief was actually set up quite nicely as you can see from the clip. And the string action at the 6th string 12th fret measures at a very much playable 2.5 millimeters height. Initially I used the Music Nomad string action ruler and then I used the printed string action ruler on the Donner hang tag just to see how accurate it is. <laughs> it's actually fairly accurate. By the way, I will put affiliate links to all the tools that I used in this video in the video description, so check it out. Now let me share the things that I like about the Donner DLP-124S. First, I really like the accessories. You get a gig bag that will actually protect your instrument, as well as a usable and more durable guitar cable. I also like that this guitar came with the proper truss rod relief straight out of the box. Now I realize that I'm either incredibly lucky that it worked out that way, or that there's the very real possibility that this particular guitar underwent a setup prior to it being sent to me for this video. So if you're a Donner guitar owner, feel free to share your unboxing experience in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Here's a quick play through the stock pickups running into different tones, clean, crunch, and dirty from my head rush gig board. And that is recorded straight into my computer. Bridge pickup. Middle position. Neck pickup. Okay, crunch sound, bridge pickup. Middle position. Neck pickup. 
Next pickup. Okay, full tilt. Neck pickup. I know what you're gonna say next. Let's hear this cheap guitar through a cheap amp. So I'm going to plug into my Black Star Fly 3 Mini. That way you can hear it in a, uh, I guess a bedroom practice setting. <laughs> These stock DLP humbuckers actually have a bit of punch and bite to them, which is not typical of cheap beginner guitar pickups. However, there's an issue that is a possible deal breaker if I were to use this guitar unmodified for live gigs. And that is the uh, stock bridge pickup is quite microphonic. Unfortunately, I don't get that with the neck pickup, so. Neck pickup is actually quiet. But the bridge, okay. And that's just through this tiny Black Star Fly 3 mini amp. I actually played it through my Victory V30 and I couldn't turn it up at gig volume before this started squealing. Now, if you play mostly at home and run through virtual amps, plugins, or multi-effects, or play through headphones, then this is less of an issue. Now I'm gonna share my recommendations to address and fix some issues possibly upgrade and definitely elevate your Donner DLP-124. The first thing that you need to do out of the box is to oil and condition the fretboard. I don't think that this was an isolated case because there's a couple of other YouTube reviews of the same guitar that mentioned dry fretboards. And along with the dry fretboard, you gotta take care of the fret sprout as well because they pretty much go hand in hand. Whenever there's a dry fingerboard, there will be frets sticking out. Wood moves and metal frets don't. Now the first thing I recommend to upgrade on this guitar would be the tuners because despite their nice and shiny appearance, they don't actually engage that well. And the engagement inconsistency is not as a set, but actually from tuner to tuner. And as soon as I noticed this, I took a screwdriver and tightened the button screws to see if that would help things, but it really didn't. Let me show you. This is the E string. As you can hear, it engages right away. But when I go to the A string, there is that slight delay before the posts start turning. And that is uh, evident on the G string as well. See, I'm turning it, but <laughs> the pitch is not moving. On the first string, it engages right away. So um, yeah, new tuners are a must. Okay, giveaway time. To win your own Practice Makes Perfecto t-shirt, I want you to guess the original song inspiration for the jam track at the beginning of this video. Type it in the comments and I will randomly pick a winner within the first 24 hours of this video going live. And I'll be announcing the winner on my Facebook page, so make sure to follow that as well. Facebook.com slash official Castro. Okay, back to the DLP-124. Now let's talk about the pickups. 
I actually kind of like how these humbuckers are voiced. They're nice and thick, but with enough bite and presence so that they're not woofy and muddy sounding. So if you bought a DLP-124 to practice and learn guitar tinkering on, then I think it is a worthwhile experiment to dip these pickups in paraffin wax and learn how to pot them uh, like Eddie Van Halen did to fix his microphonic humbucker. I think that would be a good learning experience. Or you could chuck these out and install your favorite aftermarket set of pickups. That works too. Okay, there you have it. This is the cheapest Les Paul style guitar on Amazon, the Donner DLP-124S. To find out more about the DLP-124 or to buy your own, I will have all the relevant links in the video description. So feel free to check them out. Now, what should I do with this thing? Do you guys want to see me modify and upgrade this DLP-124? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you dug this video, please give it a thumbs up like, hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and don't forget to ring that bell. Now go grab your guitar and play something, because you all know the drill. Practice makes perfecto. Cheers, guys.